Hello, good morning. I'm Coretta and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a bit of a weekend in my life in Boston or like at Boston University. Um, just because I thought it would be like kind of fun to see what I do and like what you can do in Boston. And like I kind of have like a really busy weekend coming up. So I thought that it would be like fun to vlog it. Um, also, I kind of am doing it because it provides an extra level of accountability if I'm recording myself because then I actually have to do it. Um, but like I have a lot to do and I could easily just like not do it out of laziness. But like now I have some accountability. Okay, so I'm all dressed and ready to go. I have my makeup and hair done um, and then my outfit. It's kind of like a rainy, gross day in Boston today, though, so... And also, it's like, 50, even this December, it's 55 degrees, so I'm trying to decide, like, if this is enough, because I don't want to take my, like, huge winter coat, but, like, I could wear Hayden's hockey jacket, or... I don't know. to the aquarium for the 80th time this year. <laughs> I feel like I come here so often, but it's fine. At least we get in for free and that's what makes it all worth it. <laughs> they, we got in, we get free. I know, I was saying, I missed that. <laughs> oh, you miss paying a lot of money for it? Okay. <laughs> oh, you don't have to use it. I can just get in one more time for free on my own. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, what do we have to do? Definitely a hundred times You remember what kind of fish these are? They're like the grunts, right? I think they're grunts. Yeah, but like what kind of grunts? French grunts. Ooh, look at this big boy. Grunts de France. Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Oh, he's wandered away from his school to come hang out with us. Hi. Hi, sweetie. Oh, he's had enough. Okay. <laughs> wow, that guy's speedy. Yeah. He was working too. That one's speedy too. Are they trigger fish? So we had two from when we came to the aquarium already. And those are upstairs. Oh, arowana. I think of the down with the sun is really chunk. Let me help you see the permit. They've been swimming by this whole time. They swim with their body, their trunk muscles. So this is huge. They're so slimy. I think they like being pet. They have eaten I was literally just thinking about it. Did you notice his coloration change? It's a no, surgeon fish. No, I'm asking. I don't know if it did. Oh, man. He's literally Whoa. like on something. What are they cleaning this tank with? It's so cold. What did you say? It's so cold. Yeah. Oh, I felt cold. It's just pretty cold. Is it cold here? This one does not feel like it's fine. None of them do. Okay, buddy. Let me help you out. There we go. So you tie yourself in a knot. What is that? Uh, yeah, that's a secret. Oh. I didn't know they stuck to things. The one in Indonesia was, um, do you see that one? The ones in Indonesia were like, just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did I tell you about that huge one we saw in Belize though? 
It looks like it's a tail of like an animal, like a jaguar. <laughs> it's huge. Probably like the... I don't know because it went under something, but I'd probably say it was like half the length of this. We're now in Faneuil Hall slash Quincy Market looking for somewhere to eat. I don't want to go inside. Starbucks? What? Ben and Jerry's? Is that what I heard you say? I think I heard Ben and Jerry's. Or... There's like a cookie place inside this little area that makes like the most bomb little chocolate chip cookies. They're like that big, but... Like I don't really want a meal. Also the Starbucks line is... No, but like it used to be like a thing where people in my high school would go all the time, or like from my elementary school. I went to this like um, leadership program, um, like the me and the all went there, and it was like so on. <laughs> they like just make fun of you, right? Yeah. They're like really mean to you. I, it's like not my. Like, yeah, I don't think thing. I would like it. You'd be like, what? stop. Uh, and they put those like hats on you that are like. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I, it's not for me. <laughs> I'm not their customer. <laughs> I'm not their girl. Um, 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 it's kind of too cold for Ben and Jerry's actually. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's that group over there. I don't know what the Christmas hats are for though. Now we are in Super 88, which is like an Asian food market, like food court style thing. And we're gonna do the fish lab here because they didn't want to go all the way to Chinatown, basically. Um, Hayden's gonna get food and I don't want anything from here. What are you gonna get? Well, we found the fish section. I've never seen like a grocery store that has this. I guess I've seen like a live lobster tank at a grocery store, but never like an aquarium. <laughs> it's home. I wonder what kind of crabs these are. Dunge oh dungeness crabs and live rock crabs. Tilapia and barramundi. An eel. <laughs> I don't see the, uh, should be more in, oh. Huh? I said there should be more in here, but it's not with the thing. Hello, it is currently the next day. I'm walking to the biology research building, um, which is basically where I spend most of my life on campus. Uh, both my labs are there, all of my classes this semester were there, so it's just basically where I spend all my time. I'm currently on my way to go do um, photo mosaics and uh, lab husbandry and work on my skeleton for my theology class. Um, it's currently like 1.30, almost 2 p.m. Um, I'm kind of getting a later start to my day than I would have liked to, but it's fine. I have like basically 24 hour, 24 seven access to this building. So it doesn't really matter what time I get my work done. I just don't really want to be in that same building all day, seven days a week, like I normally am. So I'm just gonna um, do as much as I can today and yeah. Oh, another thing, I was thinking of doing like lab tours of the bump lab and of the lab that I work in. But I'm not quite sure if that's like something I can do, um, like if the people who run those labs would be willing to do that for me. Um, and also like I don't necessarily work in the bump lab, like I don't know everything that goes on there, so I might have to ask someone to help me out with that. This is really weird vlogging in public, <laughs> but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, so yeah, I'll catch up with you guys when I'm actually in the lab. And I've already shown you guys like the photo mosaic stuff, so maybe I'll talk a little bit more about it, but I think for the most part I'm, I don't know. Okay, so I'm here in the lab, and I've already kind of showed you guys this in the uh, week in my life as a marine biologist student. Um, so I kind of already shown you like actually what I do, but I figured I would kind of give like a walk around and just like show you what these are. So these are tanks of coral. They have this 
coral species, the strange apoculata. Um, and they're just like little, they usually get like this big. They look like a rock, but they have polyps in them. If you know what a coral is, you know they're not rocks, they're living animals. They are photosynthetic, like most other corals, but they also have different phenotypes where they have a non-photosynthetic uh, state. And um, they also are heterotrophs, so that's like really cool. Um, so we have six tanks, five tanks of them. And then this is our sixth tank where most of our like new colonies go into. So when people go diving and they collect new colonies and they put them in here to get them uh, like acclimated to the system and this is our temperate rooms so these are uh, temperate coral species and then in here we have our tropical coral species now i'm gonna be honest i don't know what corals these are i think i think this is a mushroom coral but i genuinely like don't know and i probably should ask someone just because that's like something i should know um given that i've worked in this lab for a year at this point um and in this one, in this one, there's a mantis shroom, which I don't know, I, I did put that in my last vlog about my weakened life when we buy all of this, um, that I have to feed the mantis shroom as a part of that. And it's kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I always feel like he's gonna go for my fingers instead of the other shrimp that I feed him. But I haven't yet, I haven't gotten bitten yet and no one else has either, so I feel like it's good. God, my arm's getting tired. Okay, so yeah, that's what I do. Or like, that's what this lab is. For husbandry, like we just kind of rotate by day who does what. Um, and on Sunday is my day. So I have to do like all of this stuff, like check if the pumps are running. Um, check if the flows are on, like feed the mantis shrimp, check out the water levels, fill out the log sheets, which is in here. And it just keeps like a log of just the like systematics, basically, like the temperature, the pH, the salinity, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do this. And since you guys already saw what it's like when I do it, it's not that interesting to watch over and over again. It's always the same thing. So I'm just gonna do that and check back in with you guys later. Um, so I want to explain a little bit of what this is. Um, so basically, these are just thousands of pictures of a coral reef in the Phoenix Islands protected area, which is basically a giant square in the middle of the Pacific. And then using a software, you just stitch. I don't do this. I do not have the capabilities to do this, but you just stitch them all up into one giant photo. And so this is like, uh, I believe it's a 10 by 10 meter square or maybe 20 by 20 meter square of the reef this like box right here and then um you just go into photoshop and you basically what i had to do for this one is you go through all of those individual pictures so let's see how many there are um Okay, starting at 1 and going up to 8,000, 9,000, 9,177 pictures. Um, and that's what makes up this entire photo mosaic. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what this looks like. So you go through that and then you pick link it. And so you match up everywhere in this picture to an original photograph from over here. And it's not hard, it just takes a long time. Because like I said, there's 9,177 pictures to go through. So as you can see, it's like all labeled with um, the number of the photo. And so that way it kind of makes it easier when what I'm doing now, when you have to go through and trace. Um, so you have to go through and trace everything basically, like live coral, coralline algae, um, and then a different type of algae and then bare sand too. Um, and it kind of makes it easier because if you are just looking at this, oh, let me take the tracing layer off so you can just see, this is what it looks like. And so you just have to trace all of this. I've gone through this picture probably like five or six times and I still haven't finished um, just because of the level of detail. And it's really hard to spend a lot of time doing one square with not wanting, without wanting to like lose your mind. So you just kind of have to keep moving on and then go through it again and again. 
But um, yeah, so basically, if you have this square and you can't tell, say you can't tell what this uh, coral is, or like you can't tell if it is a live coral or not, and then you put the pick linking layer on, and zoom out a little bit. And so you say, like you go to the number of the picture it is, and then you get a closer look at what it is. Um, but I've been looking at this one for a while, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what everything is. I just have to trace it. And as you can see, this crustos coralline algae, which is all this pink stuff, is not easy to trace in the same way that this is easy to trace because it's just a circle. So it takes a really long time and it's really tedious, but basically the point of it in overall is to like track the progress of a reef over years, um, which is worth the time that it takes, basically. You can see surface area change and um, there are ways to do 3D modeling with it. And so you can see like Crestos coralline algae is like really important for a reef because that's where um, new coral can recruit to pretty easily. So if you have a lot of that, it's very good, but it, you, it's, it pays to measure it. Um, and also to see how ch coral mounds or coral colonies are changing over time. Because basically, if you can see how they're changing over time, you can see how the overall health of the reef is doing. And before photo mosaics, you could kind of do it, I mean, it takes a really long time to do this in the field. So you could do it like colony by colony, but that would take so long, especially for such a wide area. And then, you know, there's no really good way to like get that in numbers and to do like area and stuff like that quickly and efficiently in the same way that you can in doing a photo mosaic. So we don't, our, my lab specifically doesn't go out and collect the photos. We don't, um, we don't stitch them together. I don't think we do the stitching together. We make, I think it takes a supercomputer to do that. So people at Scripps do that for us. Um, and then they send it to us along with the original photos and we do all the analysis of it. Um, and this is like a really big project that's been going on for like quite a few years. Um, and so it's just kind of like, it's really just getting its start. And um, yeah, so that's what I do. And it takes a long time, but that's just what it is. <laughs> hey guys, it's actually the next day and I'm just jumping on to end the vlog. I didn't really do much yesterday after um, the last time I spoke to you, which was when I was in the lab doing my photo mosaics. After that, I just went down and worked on my fish, which I didn't really want to show because I feel like it can be kind of gross to have like a dead fish skeleton. Um, and I, I don't really want to gross anyone out. I think it's kind of gross, so I just didn't want to show anyone. Um, but yeah, after that, I just like came home, hung out and like went to bed. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you guys want more content like this. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends and do all that fun stuff. So. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.